tell in the title. So welcome to day 3,672 of quarantine. So we're going to make bread anyways because we're bored. And yeah, so I don't know how to make bread like that. Like I know how to do certain parts. I'm not saying I'm like good at it. So this video might turn out really bad or it might turn out good. So the we have book is the recipe book. So yeah, we're going to um, start out with getting a teaspoon of sugar, so I'm following it by, you know, where it's at, so I don't I'll know what the heck so food. we're doing um, one teaspoon of sugar, and we have two bowls right here, so one's Korean's, one's mine, we're both making bread, so yeah. Okay, so we don't have an actual measuring teaspoon, so we're just going to assume that this is a teaspoon, I mean it's a spoon, so teaspoon, and, and we, got the sugar. we have the sugar, and I mean too much sugar is not going to you know, affect anything, it'll just sweet bread but it's okay so one and we got the other one so there's a teaspoon and yeah and by the way we have two bowls so we're making two loaves of bread so that's why i had two so the next thing we're going to be doing is a package of dry yeast which we need two of those so um we're using this uh it's yeast so we're each going to pour one of these in our bowls so you just pour the whole thing in there i'm pretty sure yeah because it says one so one packet so yeah okay so we both did that so it says one and a fourth cup of warm water for some reason it says divided i have no idea what that means so we're just going to assume that we pour one and a fourth cup of water in here and yeah so i got one cup and i gotta go put another fourth of it in I think I could do this. I think I've seen it before. And we have the other fourth. So I'm going to do the same thing to the other bowl. Karina, you can go get a fork and stir that one. Okay, so Karina's stirring hers and I'm stirring mine. And we're just stirring it for a little bit because it doesn't say how much to stir it. So we're just stirring it for a little bit. And a little bit is whatever you feel like. It's not stirring anything. But, but if you can see it, I don't think they can kind see of. It. Yeah, don't do that because you'll pour it out. So. A little bit. All right, so we've been stirring it for a while. So now, Karina, can you move your hand? Um, three cups of flour. So we're here doing two, so we're doing six, well, three in one and three in the other. So it literally smells like bread. Let me show you guys what it looks like here. Hold it. Show you what it looks like before. It actually smells like bread, but it's literally not bread yet. So it looks kind of like this right now. It looks nasty, but it smells really good. It smells like bread. So now we're going to do the three cups of flour. Okay, so we have three cups in this one, so Karina, you and stir it so you go get like something to stir it with and then yeah all right so karina's already stirring hers you can use your hands karina too oh yeah you use that for a little bit and then you use your hands so yeah don't put that um, yeah so, so karina is on um, <laughs> doing it with hers with her hands so the only thing i don't like about this part is that you sometimes you have to put a little bit of water or a little bit a little bit of water a little bit of flour in it and it's like just i don't know see look it's sticking too it's like slime yeah okay so i just unpaused that weird anyways but um we're done we got um the dough and stuff like that so now um we're gonna go wash off our hands and um oh wait <laughs> what is the one fourth of salt for um you gotta put salt i think we forgot to put salt could always mix it again. How does that affect the bread? I don't freaking know. I don't, we're gonna pour salt on this and then we'll do this. Okay, so we have to put salt in it. So it's already dough, but we're just gonna like put salt on it anyways. Because like it's mixed together anyway, so I guess it doesn't matter what form of it it's in. So we're pouring salt on a spoon and it's one and one fourth cup of table salt. So gonna take a while so i'm just gonna pause this so we're mixing it together so basically we just poured the salt on the bread it's like glitter so i don't think there's anything wrong with it maybe there is but it all gets mixed together anyway so i guess it doesn't matter when you add this stuff we still gotta do the cooking spray and um yeah i know so this is the first part of making the bread so i'll put the um how to do the um bread dough on the screen it's like you guys this. might do it different but this is, I don't have a way, a certain way that I do bread, because it's kind of my first time making the bread without assistance. It's just me and Karina making the bread, so. I usually make it with assistance. Like, I don't ever make bread by myself, so this is my first time making it by myself. With each other. With you. So. <laughs> hey, guys, today we're going to be throwing stuff at the camera. Hey, guys, today we're going to be throwing bread to our 
yes, yes, this sister. Or anyways, I'm about to pause this. Freaking goofy. Okay, guys, so it's pretty good now. That's basically what it looks like. So it didn't do anything wrong with adding the salt last, so... I guess you could add it last. That's what we did because that's how what it says. So anyways, that's um what we did for the um dose. So now we're about to wash our hands and we're gonna do the next thing. Okay, so Karina's washing her hands right now and we're about to do the part where you have to rise the bread. So yeah. So we you guys need to get two more bowls because um your other bowls are messed up. So on this part, we need cooking spray. So we got cooking spray. It's right here. Like 
depending on how big your piggy is. But that's okay. I'm gonna do the same thing with the other one. Okay, so that's what they should look like. And when you're done, you you just let it sit in the pan for 30 minutes. So I'm gonna put the timer on for 30. We're using the oven time to do this time. So 30. I don't know if you can see it, but it says 30. But yes, yeah, so we will let it rise in the pan for 30 minutes. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes. So the bread looks like this. So it's done basically. So now we have to preheat the oven. 425 so just gonna bake and put it to 425 and yeah so while the oven's preheating um you need one egg and a little measuring cup and you need to put it on the bread so i have the egg carton and i'm just gonna get one egg by the way we have chicken so our eggs look like this So Karina's gonna crack the eggs, so. Just try not to get any eggshells. I've done this before. All right, you're good, so throw the shell away. So Karina did the um, egg beating up. So now we have this and it's already in there. So now you just put it all over the bread, like everywhere so i'll show you what i'm done okay so i covered it with um eggs so it's yellow so now i just gotta wait for the oven to be all right so right now we're cleaning up karina's doing that so um it's in the oven now so for the first time it's in the oven it's in there for 12 minutes okay so after if they're done for 10 minutes lower you lower the temperature to 350 and then they cook for 15 more minutes and then they're done all right, so the bread's done. That's what it looks like. It actually turned out really good. I'm happy, but I have to taste it first because, like, just because it looks good doesn't mean it tastes good. So. All right, guys, so I tried it and it tasted pretty good. So it tastes like bread. I mean, you know, it's bread. So, you know, it tastes okay. I don't really like bread, but I put honey on it, so it tasted pretty good. But please like, pretty, please subscribe, and if you want, you could go check out any of my other videos that I've cooked in, I guess. Not really cooked, but made things. Yeah, so please like, please subscribe, and bye!